Hi everybody, I'm Gabrielle. Thank you for watching. Today we're gonna to do a workout for abs and core. No props needed. So all you need is a reformer and some abs. So let's get started. I'm on one red spring, that's one heavy spring. The bar's just up high. Go ahead and lie down on your back. Headrest can go up or down, whatever you prefer. Hands in the short loops, arms up to the ceiling. Before we take our feet off the bar, go ahead and tuck and untuck a couple times with your pelvis and then start to make that tuck and untuck a little smaller. And then once you find that kind of spot in between for neutral spine, go ahead and keep that, and your ribs are down. Arms reach up to the ceiling. Keep that dynamic range, that dynamic reach in your arms, but slide your shoulder blades down towards the carriage. Then slide the bottom tips of your shoulder blades down into the waistband. Keeping that without changing anything in your spine or pelvis, draw the belly up and in. Bring one leg up to tabletop. Bring the other leg up to tabletop. Good, already, already our core is working a lot. Just the arms slowly pull down to the carriage, nice and slow. Keep reaching into the straps. Arms back up to the ceiling. Navel draws up for pelvic floor and in for that deepest abdominal layer, that transverse abdominus. And back up slowly, two more nice and slow. Make sure when the arms go down that the back of your shoulders don't rise up. Last one here. Now when the arms push down, extend one leg out to where the ceiling meets the wall, not too low. You can even go up higher if you feel like you're losing your core connection or if you feel like your ribs are coming off the carriage. And one more on each side, nice and slow. Focusing on the quality here of your moves, setting that nice base. And back up. Good, you guys, let's add the abdominal curl, nod your chin. The leg can reach a little lower here since we're curling up. Bend the knee arms up, head down. Other side, nod the chin, exhale, curl up, reach the leg. Keep reaching into the straps as the pelvic floor lifts in the opposite direction. And bend the knee arms up, head down. One more on each side. Really finding the length through the body. Last one here. and coming back down. Feet on the bar, hook the straps back up. Let's switch the springs to one blue spring, that's a medium spring. Take off the red. Lie back down on your back, and we'll place the toes on the bar, fist distance apart. From here, and the carriage doesn't have to go all the way in to start, you can press out just so your knees are like over the hips, more comfortable. Nod your chin, lift your head and shoulders up, place your hands behind your head. Staying at the bottom tips of the shoulder blades, again, make sure you haven't tucked your pelvis unless you're modifying for lower back issues. Nice and neutral. Navel draws up and in. Keeping that strong, let's exhale, press out. Inhale, bend the knees back in. Exhale, press that bar away from you. Feel those legs pushing out as that navel draws up and in, away from the legs. Let's do three more here, and three. And two. Last one. Adding on, bend the right knee in. When you bring the carriage in, send the leg over the bar. Bend it as you press out. Hold. And again, inhale, reach. Exhale, bend, hold. Keep pressing into the bar with that left foot. Two more. Last one. Nice, you guys. Place the foot down. Rotate your ribs to the right. Think bottom left rib to right hip bone. Bend the knees. Bring it in. Exhale, press out. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Try not to let the sacrum rock back and forth as you press out and in. Let's do four more. And three. And two. 
anchoring down into your left hip. Last one. Hold, come back to center, lower the head, bend the knees. Okay, let's do everything on that other side. Curl it up. Let's keep both feet on the bar for now. Exhale, press out. Inhale in. Focus on the stability through your pelvis, through that lower back. Two more. Think of the quality of your core strength here, of your core engagement. Last one, we hold it. Bring your left leg to tabletop. Bring the carriage in, send the leg over the bar. Exhale, push out. Think bottom ribs sliding towards the hip bones, closing the gap between bottom ribs and hips. Two more. Keep pressing into the bar with the right foot. Last one here. Hold it out. Left foot on the bar. Rotate your ribs to the left. Think bottom right rib to left hip bone. Bend the knees. Press it out. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. Keep pressing into the bar with those feet. Keep anchoring into that right hip. Again, try not to let that sacrum rock back and forth as you bring the knees, as you bend the knees in and out. Three more. And two. Last one here. Hold it. Center. Bend the knees. Lower the head. Definitely feeling the abs work on that one. Okay. Come on up, you guys. And we'll switch it to one yellow spring. The lightest spring you can do on your machine. All right. Step on up and then walk it over to the well behind you. Okay, so from here, and you can always readjust how much distance you want between you and the carriage, but basically, let's keep the legs together. Now take the right foot and hook it. Hook the heel right on the other side of the shoulder block there. So for me, I'm just gonna scoot back a little bit more. You do want the carriage in to start. Left ankle right underneath the left hip, right? We're not leaning forwards or back, hands can start on your hips. Left knee stays unlocked, push into that floor, grow tall. Think of the tail pulling down, those lower abdominals pulling up, the crown of the head reaching up. From here, inhale, prepare. Find your stability first. And exhale, pull the right uh, heel forwards towards you. Inhale, slowly return. And three more like this, exhale, pull. Inhale, slowly return. And two. So I like to work uh, core and obliques and abs in general in different, different um, positions, right? This is standing, working more stability work here before we we're laying down on our back. Place your hands behind your head. And then same um, move, but we're going to keep the hands behind the head. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend the leg. Press into your left foot as you pull the right leg towards you, the right heel towards you, deepening the abdominal scoop. Grow tall as the heel pulls towards you. Adding in a rotation to the right towards that leg. And exhale, rotate, take your time. Inhale, rotate back. Three more here. Inhale, rotate back. And two. And back. Good job, you guys. One more. Keep growing tall. And back. Great work. Go ahead and switch the sides. So feet together to start. Then left heel hooks right on the outside of that shoulder block. Hands can start on your hips. Make sure we're not leaning too far over to the right. Okay, when you're ready, soft bend in the right knee. Tail to floor, grow tall. Exhale, pull carriage towards you. And then inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Deepen the abdominal scoop and extend. Again, you may feel that one side is a little harder than the other. We all have a harder side. One more like this. And let's place the hands behind the head. And exhale, pull, grow tall. Inhale, extend. 
big scoop of the belly as you pull the carriage towards you and you can find a release as the carriage goes home. And two more. Last one here. And let's add the rotation. Exhale, rotate to the left towards that leg and extend the leg return home. And exhale, pull. Visualize those lower abdominals lifting up as you bend that knee. Two more. And last one. And bring it back. Good work, you guys. Awesome. Step on out of there. And we'll switch it to one blue spring. So back to that one blue spring, that medium spring. Take the yellow spring off. Sit on your carriage, legs straight between the shoulder blocks. Have a little bit of space behind you. All right, grab the straps off the shoulder blocks. Let's hold on to the short loops, arms out in front. Let's have the knuckles together, almost like you're hugging a tree. Wrap those shoulder blades in their pockets. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, tuck the tail. Start to roll back, pull your knuckles closer to your chest. The more you roll back, the more you're pushing the carriage forwards with your tailbone. Hold, navel draws in, roll all the way back up, grow tall. Bring the arms back out a little bit. Arms pull towards you as you tuck the tail, roll it back. Reach those toes forwards deep in the abdominal scoop and roll it back up. So the more you roll back, the more the tailbone needs to tuck under, the more the pelvis tilts. Keep trying to grow tall and come back up. Arms in front. Two more times. Pull, grow tall. Keep that length as you roll it back. Navel to spine. Come on up. Arms out. One more time we hold. Pull, tuck, roll and back and hold. Good. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Open the arms out to the sides, keeping the carriage steady and pause. Little bend in those elbows. Big scoop of the belly. We press back and bring the arms back to the front. And exhale, pull. And forwards. And Good. So those toes are reaching away from the belly. The belly is reaching away from the toes. We're trying to stay nice and tall, even through our curve. Let's do three more. And two. Nice, you guys. One more. And then come all the way back up. Good work. Place your legs on the outsides of the shoulder blocks. Go ahead and squeeze those shoulder blocks gently with your legs. Okay. Hands in the short strap still. Nice. Flat back to start. Sit up as tall as you can. Let's keep those toes pointed. Bend the elbows and then extend. Scoop the belly as you bend and you can release the core as you extend the arms. All right, now let's just do two more and then we'll do this in our C curve. Last one here, elbows stay nice and high. Roll it back into your C curve. Drop those shoulders, draw those abs in, little squeeze of those shoulder blocks with your legs and we bicep curl. Keep scooping those abs in as you bicep curl. Now, next time you bicep curl, flex your feet. <sighs> Inhale, point. <sighs> Good. And just um, keep noticing if you're gradually trying to close the chest off, think of pulling those shoulders back. Keep those collarbones wide. Visualize here those lower abdominals lifting up as you bicep curl. <sighs> Three more. And two. Last one. And then bring it up. Straddle the carriage. Hook your straps. Take a little stretch for those hips. And to finish up this abdominal core uh, video, let's do some planks here. So we're still in that one blue spring, one medium spring. Hands on the carriage. I like my fingertips off for this first one. It's about halfway up the carriage. All right, shoulders over the wrists. Slight tuck to the tail, pull the shoulders back. Draw the belly in, press the carriage out into your plank position and hold. 
from here, we're gonna bend the knees just in a little bit and then press back out, just until the knees are about to hit that carriage and then push. Let's go for five more here. Scoop the belly as you press out. And four. Three. Two. And last one. Bend the knees, lower the knees down. Come down into your forearms. You can clasp your hands together. Hands are like between the shoulder blocks here. Shoulders pull back. Press the carriage out into your plank position. Keep pulling the tail towards your heels. Navel in. Bend the knees to the well and then press back out. Knees to the well and press back out. Let's go for five. Four. Keep pulling the breastbone through. Three. Two. Last one, bring the carriage in, lift the knees, and place them on the carriage. Good work, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little workout for abs and core, and I'll see you next time. Bye.